Hello, Assalamu alaikum. So, today we are going to discuss the nerve supply of the upper limb. If you have already uh, read about the muscles of the upper limb and look into the pictures of the upper limb, now we are ready to learn the nerve supply of the upper limb. So, here I have got one technique from which I learned the muscles. Uh, sorry, I learned the nerve supply of different muscle at once and this is a very quick and efficient technique due to which I got uh, good marks. So that's why I would I had like to share this with you and let's start it. First of all, subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to keep updated by my educational videos because I keep updating with new videos. So we have accessory nerve first in which uh, you can see this is written trapezius first of all if we look uh, our body from behind we will see the first muscle over there is trapezius whose nerve supply is accessory nerve so uh, accessory means a different nerve or we can say you can say the mobile accessories so we have different accessories likewise it has a different nerve for itself axillary nerve is coming from the axilla so axilla uh, up if you see axilla it is at the underarm so if we see the muscle deltoid is over the clavicle and it moves around the humerus and then uh, attach the attach with the spine of the scapula so this muscle is close to the axillary nerve but the teres minor is lower down to the scapular uh, border very down at the end of the scapula so we cannot imagine that axillary nerve is also supplying the teres minor so this can be a bcq or mcq in your test paper but the deltoid <coughs> cannot be the uh, bcq and mcq in the test paper because it's easy to identify so you have to learn like this that make a pair the deltoid comes with teres minor and they both share same nerve supply which is axillary nerve obviously you can identify the deltoid can go with the axillary nerve but teres minor is not an obvious choice that it may it might be sharing the axillary nerve as axillary nerve is very far away from the teres minor teres minor should be sharing the nerve with teres major but here the case is different that's what a human brain says but over here the teres minor uh, teres major is friend with subscapularis while the trevis minor is friend of deltoid so i think they broke up with each other they were in a relationship and had a fight so now uh, trevis minor is with the deltoid using axillary nerve while trevis major is with subscapularis uh, sharing inferior subscapular nerve so from subscapular you can learn that the muscle is going to be the subscapularis and where we, uh, we heard the word subscapularis we know there is a pair of subscapularis made with teres major these are besties while uh, if we talk about axillary nerve after axillary nerve you are going to say that deltoid is being supplied by the axillary nerve as deltoid is the closest muscle and after a teres minor in the anger of the uh, fight between teres major and teres minor uh, is getting the supply from axillary nerve after being friend with deltoid so trachodorsal nerve is after that we have trachodorsal nerve which supplies lattice muscle dorsi you can see dorsi and dorsal dorsi dorsal <coughs> this is how you will learn the nerve trachodorsal nerve you are gonna click dorsi and then you know the muscle whose name whose after whose name you get dorsi is lattice muscle dorsi which is also known as lat muscles so after it we have the nerve long thoracic nerve which supplies which is <coughs> serratus anterior you know where is serratus anterior it is at the anterior side of your chest after pectorals major and minor you will see a muscle uh, which is just fingers like and holding your uh, rib cage 
these muscles are stratus anterior and they are supplied by long thoracic nerve we have two types of nerve having the name of thorac one is thoracodorsal it has dorsal so we will eliminate it that it will supply the latus plus dorsi but whereas long thoracic nerve will supply the stratus anterior muscle which is kind of different name they, they do not match with each other and uh, it is not necessary to be matching with each other but here dorsal scapular nerve now we are in the range of scapular nerves scapular nerve first nerve is dorsal scapular nerve which supplies the rhomboid minor and major muscle after that we get supra scapular nerve now you know what is supra supra means upper supra scapular supra spinatus these both names are resembling so if you have a here that uh the Question is asking what is the nerve supply of the supraspinatus, supraspinatus, then suprascapular nerve. Both the names are resembling. <clears throat> and if you know it is a supraspinatus, then supraspinatus have a sister whose name is infraspinatus, which is just living lower than the supraspinatus. Okay. After that, inferior subscapular nerve. Inferior subscapular nerve is a scap subscapular nerve. So, if you see subscapular nerve supplying subscapularis, while it is it has a best friend, TB is major. So, whenever you say, uh, like, question is what, what supplies which nerve supplies the subscapularis muscle, then we are just gonna find subscapular nerve because subscapularis and subscapular nerve are just very resembling names, okay? But <clears throat> if they ask TB is major. You have to remember, uh, TV's major was a pair of what? Uh, it was a pair of subscapularis. And if it is a pair of subscapularis, then I know that the uh, nerve for the subscapularis is, uh, is subscapular nerve. Yeah, I got the answer. That's how you are going to learn these nerves. After that, medial pectoral nerve. <clears throat> medial pectoral nerve is uh, uh only nerve for the pectoralis minor while pectoralis major share both the nerve he has medial pectoral nerve as well as the lateral pectoral nerve so uh, this is kind of technique how i learned the nerve supply of the upper limb it's quite difficult to learn the nerve supply of the upper limb as you know that every muscle of the nerve sub uh, every muscle of the upper limb have different nerve supply which is originating from the vertebra so uh, here i have to end my lecture and this is the first time i am doing a lecture in pure english language this is not my mother tongue my actual uh, <coughs> language is urdu so uh, i think it's better to use english as it's an international language so if there is any mistake in my english in my pronunciation in my grammar then i'm really sorry for that i try my best to get the better and if there is my, any mistake you have pointed out kindly comment below and let me know the mistake so that i can improve my grammar and improve my english and thank you so much for watching subscribe my channel for more videos and press the bell icon so that you can be updated with the new topics coming because i try to make anatomy as easy as possible thank you so much allah office